Hey guys, welcome back to another All Pro Football Editor tutorial. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the team screen, which it really hasn't changed that much since the first editor. Uh, but we're going to walk through it for you guys so you can see exactly what there is to do in here. And um, so you make sure that you, you, know, you understand everything on here. So the first one's pretty simple. It's your team name. If you have an offline file, which I have here, you can just change it to whatever you want. Um, my team. Um, you can change your city. You can also go in here and actually make the changes to the city name. It only lets you use as many characters as you had before, so you can't go over. So if you're going to want to make a change to these cities, just be careful because once you change them, you, you're you stuck with them. And the more you go back and if you keep shortening them, you're going to be limited to that new length. Okay, so if you shorten this and you lose five characters, the next time you come back in, now you're stuck to that that length of whatever it was minus five. Okay, um, stadium, you can also pick, you know, for the city, you can pick any city in here. And then stadium, same thing. You can pick any stadium you want. If you click on this button here, you can actually change the stadium name. My dome. You can change it to whatever you want here. Um, you can't change this because this is this messes up the game. So I leave it locked down. But the same thing with the characters. You can only go past so many characters, so we lock it down. So make sure that when you change these, use every bit of characters you you can, and you can edit these descriptions to be whatever you you know whatever you want them to be. And lastly, you can either use artificial turf. By checking it, you get grass. Unchecking it, artificial turf. And that's on any field. Okay? And when you're changing the fields, you get a picture of, of the field itself here. Team abbreviation, you can't change that, but that just kind of shows you when you pick a team that um, this one here gets changed. Actually, you can change it from here, um, but you can't change it from inside of here. Team number, you're not going to want to change that, so it's locked down. Um, the divisions you can change, but I wouldn't mess with this because these are pretty, um, I would leave them the way they are, but they are unlocked. So what that means is you can change these divisions, um, the team divisions to be a different division if you want to. I would just leave it alone. And I would recommend that what you do is when you're creating your roster, I would just pick the teams in the divisions that you want and edit those teams to be whatever team you want that would be in that division. So instead of just randomly just making teams and then switching the division, I would purposefully uh, change the teams in the, in the divisions that you want them all to be in and not touch the divisions, okay? Play-by-play, -play, this is going to be what the announcers say. And you have a list of all of the teams, including the custom teams and the created teams that you can make. So you can choose these and the announcers will say the play-by-play. -play. Upload logo, what this does is if you upload a logo, it will actually um, put it as your team logo. So if your team's called my team, it will save that logo and you'll see it here, okay? I always get the question of, is it gonna change the logo in the game? No, it won't change the logo in the game. It's just gonna change it in the editor so that when you go to a team that's called my team, you're gonna see that new logo here. That's all this is here, okay? The playbooks, this is where you can change your offensive and defensive playbook. This is more, I think, for what the computer runs, but um, you know, use that at your own, you know, leisure, and you know, everybody's mileage may may vary on this. I'm not, I haven't tested it a lot, but pretty simple there. Um, the user checkbox, you can check if you want to make this team a user team. You can actually reset all of, all the teams if you want to open up the space. So now I can make it a user team because I reset them, and there you go. If you want to save a jersey in here, you can actually do that. You can also hit yes and add the jersey picture. So if you want to see the picture like these, let me pick a picture here. Like this one, I uploaded a picture when I did this upload button and now I get it, okay? And then here's the home and away jersey. So we're almost done. The home and away jerseys are set based off of this uniform that was uploaded and saved at one point, but you can still go in here and make modifications to these different 
um, properties. You can change the color style from none to logo or number. You can change the helmet. You can change the shoulder top, shoulder bottom, and then what the color is going to say. Okay. And the same thing with the away. So this is the team screen. It hasn't changed much, has a brand new look. Um, but for those of you who are brand new to the all pro football editor, this is where you want to do all of your team editing and it's pretty straightforward. So hopefully, um, you guys can follow along and it's, and it's going to work for you. So hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.